You never want to spend your own money when you're making a movie. I'm going to teach you how to get some film grants. There's lots of ways to get money to make your film. You could go ahead and crowdsource it. You can pull out a credit card or you can do this. Well, here's the thing, guys. A grant is a sum of money given to an individual or organization to aid in the completion of a product, event, or service that does not require repayment. That's kind of nice. When you're not going to get a bill back from American Express saying that you owe them all this extra money plus interest, that's a good thing. So grants you want to pay attention to. Now, here's a reason why grants even exist. Grants exist for a couple of reasons, but it's always because of underrepresentation in different areas, such as gender or sex or even location. Maybe even the topic itself is the, what's being underrepresented. So because you are able to do something that other people can't do or you are different than other people are, you're going to be able to get grant opportunities that other people won't get. So let's talk about some of those grants. I got seven great, well, seven, no, seven, there you go. Seven great grants for you that you can apply for right now. Now, some of them have expired, but they're going to come back again because they're annual. They happen all the time, okay? So the first one is going to be the Southern Documentary Fund. Now, this is made for people who live in North Carolina that are making grants. And they grants range between $1,000 to $5,000. Now, this applicants must live and work in North Carolina or their story must be take place in North Carolina. So if you live in Utah and you want to take advantage of this grant, you just have to go film it out in North Carolina. Moving on, we have the Diversity Development Fund. This is made for filmmakers of color. So pretty much if you look like me, you're not going to get it just because of this, okay? So you need to be a filmmaker of color. You need to be have, working in the whole process of uh, of developing the show still. Now this could be used for a television show or like to see there or a short film like a half hour or a one hour thing. And this per grant provides up to $15,000 for research and development funding. So if you look like me and you still want to get that grant, bring on a filmmaker of color because let's be frank guys, diversity is a good thing. So by all means, please do that. Moving on to the next one. This thing's pretty awesome. This is the independent filmmaker project. This is an opportunity to have all sorts of films funded that are under the $3 million range. Now, that what makes this program a little bit different than other ones is they will only fund you for projects that are completely funded by grants. So you can't be coming in as a private entity to start funding a project that's been funded by this one. This one's meant to fund the entire project. So the Oscars folks have this Nickel Screening Fellowship they give out five of these every year that's worth $35,000. The only catch is you have to be a screenwriter that didn't make more than $25,000 writing fictional work or for film or for television. So if you're a poor, struggling writer, that is a great opportunity for you. Uh, we have another one here that's really great for women. It is called the Digital Bolex, and this is one that you have $10,000 worth of gear to make your production, so you're not getting the money up front, but you are getting 21 production days if you have a female cinematographer. Okay, so now you're saying, okay, I'm a man, obviously not a woman, I don't want to have a gender reassignment to make my show. Well, guys, it's a lot easier to grab one of those talented women that can run that cinematography stage really well. And we have tons of fantastic, talented cinematographers right here in the state of Utah. So if you're looking for somebody, just send me an instant message request and I'll give you a whole list of incre incredibly talented people. Uh, let me, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more of these. If you are Native American or making a show about Native Americans, you're eligible for the Public Media Content Fund from Vision Maker Media and they have over $500,000 ready for production contracts to start going into uh, production, completion, research and development, the whole thing. So again, if you're trying to diversify again, this is a good thing. It brings in more resources for you to make your film. Now, by the way, all these, all these uh, funds, they're free to apply to. They're not contests. I'll talk about that in a future video. These are all free, but I still have one more that you might wanna take a look at.
The Gucci Tribeca Documentary Fund provides funding for up to four to 10 feature length documentaries. And those grants range from $10,000 to $25,000. That's a lot of dough to make a documentary. And quite frankly, sometimes you're gonna pay for your entire budget if you were doing it on a shoestring budget to make your film. These are huge opportunities. They don't cost you any money to do these at all. All it takes is your time. Now there is a place that you can go online and find these seven document uh, these seven grant options plus I think they have 75 of them posted right now. So you go over here to find more at uh, filmdaily.tv backslash grants. Again, filmdaily.tv backslash grants. And all you're going to do is just, you're going to go click on the apply for this grant. You're going to fill out all the information. It does take time. Then it has to be evaluated, but then they get back to you and they tell you how much you've been awarded, if anything. Now, you know you're not going to make any money if you don't apply for the grant, or you can make a pretty sizable penny toward your production budget if you just take the time to fill it out, guys. Well, that's going to do it for me. If you found this video helpful, tag somebody in the comment section below, share this video, and more importantly, come back and watch the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you.